Hey, how the heck are you? Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to talk about some Thanksgiving Day football. Let's start right here in Detroit as the Lions host the Chicago Bears. I'm kind of sick of everybody talking about how awful this game will be. Detroit doesn't deserve a Thanksgiving Day game. That aside, stick around and let's dig in from a DFS perspective. Hey, and we are back. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. What a time to be alive. I am Chris Robin, a.k.a. at Detroit Beastie, here with Team Riser Fall to cover each and every Thanksgiving Day game today individually. And I'm going to start with the Detroit Lions hosting the Chicago Bears, and why not? It's really all I have. It's actually really all Detroit has in terms of the Lions here. We get a primetime game uh, once a year on Thanksgiving, and it's the only thing going. So like it or not, uh, we're stuck with the Lions and the Chicago Bears here. So before we get into that, just make sure you go to Team Riser Fall, like, share, subscribe. Uh, If you didn't know, I post my NHL cores uh, almost daily right there on the website. FanDuel, DraftKings, everything. Defense, wingers, centers, goalies, the works here. Also, if you sign up right now with Team Riser Fall in the Discord, you get $10 off your NBA uh, DFS stuff with Fantasy Cruncher. So uh, you want to get in on the comma club here's your chance right hashtag comma club folks are winning you know a thousand plus dollars just about every night Uh, again play responsibly I'm not here to give you cold hard cash all I'm here to do is steer you in the right direction and I'm telling you now team riser fall is what's on the other side of this thing here so let's talk about the football game I'm going to keep uh, each video brief especially this one here Uh, Chicago heads to Detroit 1230 kickoff you know this is around the time Uh, You wherever you go, your grandma's, your mom's, boyfriend's, girlfriend's house, whatever it is, this is the game you sit down. There's a little bit going on in the house. People are making the the appetizers. The house is a little warm. You can smell the turkey cooking. And I'd like to think, you know, aside from me, if you're not into the, you know, Detroit or Chicago here, you're just around the house doing other stuff. But the game is always on because it's Thanksgiving. I mean, even if you hate football, you still have a football game on. So why not start with this one? The line over opened at 41 and a half points pretty bad but what are you gonna get it's the lions and the bears i i I, if you can't tell i'm amped up about it because again as i said in the opening this is all i really have as a detroit lions fan they're not gonna push for the division they're surely not making the playoffs so to me you know thanksgiving day game regardless of the record this is my playoff game this is my nfc north uh championship game here so you know indulge me entertain me let me have my fun i get it one day a week or excuse me one day a week one day a year here so let's go uh, and talk about the the quarterbacks in this one and i'm going to i don't want to be rude here but to be honest with you uh, i'm not even going to mention quarterbacks because i'm going to fade any and all of them justin fields is a is a questionable tag uh jared golf questionable all we're left with is what andy dalton and david blau who's 10 grand on fanduel blau $8400 on draftkings and then andy Andy Dalton, the Red Rifle Lions are 13th overall against opposing quarterbacks. Andy Dalton, 15 grand on FanDuel, only $10,400 on DraftKings. Whoever the quarterback is, I seriously don't expect either one of them to have more than 20 completions in this one. Personally speaking, I'm attacking this game from a running back standpoint. Look no further than DeAndre Swift. Chicago Bears are 18th overall in terms of opposing, you know, guarding opposing uh, quarterbacks running backs here. Swift, 14500 bucks on FanDuel. DraftKings, 11600 bucks. Uh, I, I have Swift. I mean, again, you're going to entertain me here. Please. That's all I need. That's all I want. Thanks, get happy Thanksgiving to me. Let Chris just go off about the Lions for once in his life here. Swift, 20 carries in this one, 80, 90 yards, a touchdown on the ground, and I'm looking at about four or five receptions for another 40 or 50 yards. So, again, in this game, uh, MVP is DeAndre Swift. They're not to get cute. There's no way around it. If you're playing the single game slate, DeAndre Swift is your guy. Let's talk about Montgomery. 
uh, Lions 30th overall against opposing running backs. Demont 13-5 on FanDuel, 11-2 on DraftKings. I have David Montgomery, same thing, 18-19 uh, total carries in this one, 90 yards. Wouldn't be shocked to see him get 100 and a touchdown on the ground along with a round two, maybe three receptions for another 20 or 25 yards. In a GPP to me, I would have no issue pivoting away from David Montgomery or even DeAndre Swift, mind you, in some sort of big multi-entry GPP. You fade DeMont, you fade Swift, and you go with the secondary options. Khalil Herbert, the rookie, eight grand on FanDuel, only $2,000 on DraftKings. I mean, that's easy peasy. Eight, maybe 10 carries for, for Khalil Herbert in this one. And then the on the opposing team, Jamal Williams, 9-5 on FanDuel, $4,800 on DraftKings, 10, uh, 10 10 plus carries for Jay Will in this one. I'm just feeling it, right? 50, 60 yards, one or two receptions for another 15 or 20 yards here. When we look at the wide receivers, not much is standing out to me. Maybe Darnell Mooney, obviously. I have him highlighted in my notes, which I will absolutely share with all of you. I have Mooney for the, the, the highest target rate uh, for the Chicago Bears, at least for Thursday. Here, Mooney. 12 grand on FanDuel, $9,800 on DraftKings. You're looking at eight, maybe nine targets, five, six receptions. I think a floor of about 60 to 70 yards here is a safe one. No word on Allen Robinson yet, but again, he is from Detroit. Detroit versus everybody. He used to have it uh, in his Twitter profile, but he's not. Uh, he didn't play last week, and there's still no word on him. I believe he has practiced in limited fashion here. A Rob, 10 5 on FanDuel, 6400 $6, on DraftKings. Hopefully he plays in his hometown. You'd love to see it. A-Rob, 7-8 targets, 5-6 receptions. Again, 60 or 70 yards here. We go down the list. Marquise Goodwin, 7-5 on FanDuel, 7-2 on DraftKings. I have Goodwin highlighted here. I think he just gets loose for a second game in a row, you know, with some long touchdown here. I mean, how how could you refute that? It's it's the Lions here. And we go down. Demir Bird, Amon Ross St. Brown. I'll stop on him briefly. The Bears, 20 27th overall against opposing wide receivers here. The rookie, nine grand on FanDuel, only $5,200 on DraftKings. To me, I'm looking at about six or seven targets, four or five receptions, 40, 50 yards. Nothing crazy, but when you look at his price tag in, in relation to a, a, a Mooney or to an Allen Robinson, you can squeeze a Monra in there, and I wouldn't think twice about it. Let's talk about Khalif Raymond, seven grand on FanDuel, fifty-four hundred dollars on DraftKings, five six targets, three four receptions, and you're looking at forty or fifty yards in this one. And to be fair, if you wanted to to kind of pivot or put something in, you know, sneaky or that you think is sneaky, look at Josh Reynolds, fifty-five hundred bucks on FanDuel, only fourteen hundred dollars on DraftKings. I'm looking at him to kind of put together a, a Thursday uh, Thanksgiving Day game in Detroit that people will talk about, at least uh, moving on to next week here. I have Reynolds, five, six targets, hopefully, you know, five, maybe he catches every one of his targets in this one, four, 40, maybe 50 yards. I just have this sneaking suspicion here that Josh Reynolds scores a touchdown. He catches a touchdown pass in this one, so don't look past him. I'll talk about the tight ends, and I'm going to get you the heck out of here. Not even going to talk about kickers, briefly talk about the, the DST and that is it. The two tight ends I want in this one, obviously I'm sure you just said them out loud, it's Cole Komet and TJ Hawkinson here. Lions, their 10th overall in terms of defending opposing tight ends. Komet, only seven grand on FanDuel, only 5000 bucks on DraftKings here. You're looking at Komet, about five targets, three, four receptions, you know, 45 to 50 yards in this one. And again, I have a feeling Komet catches a touchdown pass in this one. So let's talk about TJ Hawkinson. Granted, Chicago Bears, their fifth overall in terms of defending opposing uh, tight ends here. But TJ, 11 grand on FanDuel, $8,200 on DraftKings. TJ, eight, nine targets. Wouldn't be shocked if TJ went double digits in terms of targets here. Five, six receptions. 75, 80 yards, and absolutely a touchdown. I'm going to implement my famous single game slate tight end role reversal here. Komet at MVP, TJ Hawkinson in a flex spot, and vice versa. TJ in a flex spot, or excuse me, MVP spot, and bam, you put uh, Cole Komet in a flex spot here. So personally, let's run it down what I have here and hang. I'll give you my final score prediction. I love DeAndre Swift, David Montgomery, 
Uh, let, let's just go Cole Komet and TJ Hawkinson. With those four players alone, I believe from memory, you have around fifteen to 1800 bucks left, however you want to use it here uh, in, in, on FanDuel here. So again, you don't have to fill all every single dollar here. People get uh, kind of wrapped up in that. It's a single game slate. You can always leave money on the table. It's when the folks start to tinker and they go, well, I have two grand, you know, I filled all my roster spots and I have two grand left over here. Don't worry about it. If you've built it the way you want it, who cares if there's money left on the table? You know how often that happens to me on a single game slate? So I'm here to tell you, get your lineups in, don't tinker and have a fantastic Thanksgiving. Before we split, go to Team Riser Fall, like or share. They got all kinds of Black Friday deals going on for NBA content. You get a bonus for $10 towards Fantasy Cruncher when you sign up now because of Black Friday. You know, that's tomorrow, the day after Thanksgiving. So uh, thank you so much. And I, I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't mention what I'm thankful for on this holiday. It uh, It's easy peasy. It's you. It's all the support, all the love, all the shares, all the great conversations that we've had leading up to Thanksgiving Day here. So thank you so much. I really do Love everybody and hang around. I got more videos coming out uh, and we're going to talk about uh, Buffalo or excuse me, Dallas and Las Vegas next. I'll see you next time. Bye.